What's up guys? So look, YouTube took down this episode from a few days ago and we're not sure which clip triggered it so we had to re-edit the whole episode. So make sure to like the video even if you've seen this episode already to help our channel out. We really appreciate y'all. Give me my money. Now, please don't play with me. Shut up. Don't play with me. I will Sir, stop the dog shut shit up. out of you. You shut up. Get away from me, you weirdo. Girl, shut up. Go get your teeth fixed. You get are a weirdo. Fixed. You a weirdo. You're a weird, weird woman. Yuck mouth. Over here. Just you talking. are standing I bet there. You are a weird woman. Weird. Hurry up. So a very heated conversation with this crazy Karen, all because she didn't want these kids playing in this pool. Let's check it out. It's under my brother, my brother-in-law's name. So what we unfortunately we have some rules, and the resident who lives here has to be here. He's in the a pool. resident. He who I see the little boy with the dreads right there. Are y'all out here messing with us? Because it's a bunch of black kids. Are you no. being racist? Because it's a bunch of black kids. No, this has nothing to do with that. That's We're what I feel like it is. I feel like it's because it's a bunch of black kids out here. No. What? No, I got it. Here. Yeah, and it says two guests. Are you a resident? No. What are you? Supervisor. You're a supervisor of what? I can help you. Um, who's the who's the adult resident? Bryson. Bryson. Is he home? Uh, he's at work right now. Okay. So what we need to have? But this he also lives here. Okay. So what we need to have is the leaseholder here. Uh huh. And then you're only allowed to bring two people with at the same time. Those are okay, our Okay. Cool so rules. he lives in a different apartment. He's my my son's friend. He has two guests. And then Bryson has two guests. Okay, so the gentleman who's in the pool, is he a leaseholder? Well, I'm pretty for sure his mom is. Where where does the rule say a leaseholder? say a resident. On here it says, let me put this up on, I'm putting this on Facebook. This is crazy. Residents and their guests. But you said the leaseholder. This says residents. So the gentleman that's in the pool, how old is he? He's 10. Hey. My friend left his phone inside. Yeah, maybe we'll use that to call your parents. Yeah. They think it's funny, Renee. You guys think it's funny? I got you on videotape trespassing in the back of our theater. You got two options right now. Leave and never come no, back. This phone in or the I theater. call the police and you get arrested for trespassing. His phone's in the theater. That's that's a shame. Have your mother call me. You can get your phone yeah, back when your mother idea. calls me. You still think it's funny? I don't think it's funny. Okay. Don't ever come back here again. We've got your faces. You come back here, I'm prosecuting you for trespassing. All right. Yes, ma'am. Right into a where a crazy Karen neighbor on Memorial Day. Let's jump right into it. You're not moving anything. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. When they came out here, they said it was halfway between the houses. Bullshit. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Do not touch anything. Yes, it is. Do not touch anything. That's my area. No, it's not. Listen, I already sent all of I don't care. So did I. They were already out here and told us it's halfway between the houses. Stay off my house. Stay off my lot. And get your umbrella off my lot. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't give a fuck what the prospectus says. The guy came and said it was halfway between the houses. No, that's not what they told us. That's not what they told us. Then I can move that, and I will be moving that. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. And I'm moving it as soon as you go in because that's not your side. This is outside. Not your side. This is outside. It's not this yours. Travel, not yours. And this I'm going to call the police. Either. I'm calling uh, the So these next two guys get into a very heated confrontation at this graduation, all because one of the guys were trying to hold these seats and prevent other people from sitting. So let's check out the full clip. You guys, make sure to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here. Let's check it out. Basics. 
They are coming in a minute. Right, when they come, I'll move. What's up? Don't push me! Don't push me! Don't push me! Don't push me. Don't push me. Yo, come on, I need security here. I need security. This guy just pushed me. Uh, so this next woman calls out and confronts this crazy Karen couple after they went on her property and stole her surfboards. Yeah, you can't make this up, guys. But anyway, let's check out the full clip. And you guys, make sure to let us know in the comments what would you do if you was in this crazy situation right here. Let's jump right into it. Some random people stole my surfboards, and I just so happened to see them down the beach. Oh, they are so Why'd you guys take my surfboards? What? These are my surfboards. That's yours? Yes. Oh. Yes, they are mine. These are my boards from the path over there. Then you guys took them. This? Two? These two boards are my surfboards. Don't take random stuff off people's beaches. Okay, well I'm not mad at you. I'm sorry for being rude, but it was I was really upset that my stuff was missing. So Okay, well, I'm sorry. thank you. Bye. Bye. So I got the boards back, obviously, but I'm just gonna show you the situation and where they were at because I've had boards here for five years and no one's ever taken them, so here is our beach up to at the high water mark, which are these plants right here is private property. You can see there's two condo buildings here, private. You have to walk all the way up these stairs, all the way over. You can't even see this stuff from the beach and they were down there, like literally hidden down there. And they took them. And I noticed something was off because this board was sticking out. And then the two boards were uh, gone. So this next guy goes toe to toe with his crazy Karen neighbor after she decided to cut his fence down. Yeah, you can't make this up, guys. But anyway, let's check out the full video. You guys, make sure to let us know in the comments how would you handle this crazy Karen in this situation. Let's check it out. Our fence down without any papers. She has threaded our contractors and has caused chaos in the neighborhood. This needs to stop. Well, you don't get a lawyer, get the papers and come and do it like a, like a right. A Not the way that you want. A I don't need a lawyer. You need a lawyer. You have to talk and come with the paper. Come with the survey. You have your survey? You have your survey? <laughs> you even have a survey you doing this stuff. Get, get the survey, get the points, and then you do it. Don't. How do you know? I don't have a survey. Okay, bring the survey and put, make the mark. We have the survey. Show me. Well, show, show me. Show me yours and I show you mine and then you go on there. Why you have to do this? Hey, you don't, you don't have to yell. B, hey, you don't have to yell. You don't have, you don't have to yell. No principle is you yelling. You yelling. Why I have to call police? I don't need it.
I don't need to call the police, okay? Call police. Police. I don't have to. Call I don't police. need it. I don't need it, okay? Call police, okay? So our next crazy camera is getting into a very heated confrontation at this airport, and that's when things got ugly really quick. Let's check it out. So you really want to do this, really? Like, I don't get this. You stopped in the middle of the turnabout, which is actually right. Okay, but listen, you're in the middle of the turnabout. You cannot stop. That's illegal. It could cause an accident. And you know what? If you want to sit there and be stupid, go ahead. And if you want to follow me to that house again, I will call the fucking cops on you, you fucking cunt. Okay, do that. Go. Get the fuck out of my house. Get, go. Get the fuck away from my property, bitch. Bitch. Because you think you're disabled, you're allowed to just drive however fucking you want? Asshole. Uh, so this next woman must have really been hungry because after she finished eating her box of pizza, it seems like that wasn't enough. Let's check it out. You know that's not the pizza box, right? You know it's the pizza box? You don't want the pizza? Just the box? Uh, so the next group of guys get into a very heated confrontation all because they were standing too close to this moose. So let's check out the full clip. And if you guys enjoy watching these type of videos on the daily, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications so you do not miss out when we post new videos. Let's check it out. I'm scared and trampling you. Is it, is it your moose? It's not my moose, but it's a goddamn wild animal. Get the fuck away from it. You idiots. Let it be wild. Don't have to like... Jesus fucking Christ, you guys must be the dumbest people I've ever I've ever met in my life. Go ahead, touch it. Go ahead, try. Go ahead, try. See what happens. See what the fuck happens. See how long that leg will go. Get the fuck away from the moose. Yeah, I am. Me and Poppy might hit both of you guys in the problem. Go on. You guys are fucking idiots. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Get him. Yeah, get him. Yes. Get him. So this next guy got the surprise of a lifetime.